Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. With the release of Safari 5, Apple introduced extensions into their web browser. Now we've had extensions previously, most notably in Firefox, but if you don't know what they are, they basically extend the functionality of your browser. The idea here is the browsers are supposed to be designed to be very lightweight, and then if you want to add certain functionality, you have that choice. Whereas older browsers, or the old time method, was to introduce all these features into the browser, but sometimes people didn't want that. A lot of people just want a light, quick browser. So I'm just going to give you some five extensions that I think are must-haves for Safari 5, and ones that I think you'll enjoy using. So the first one is for all you baseball fans out there, and I know that you know I'm a big baseball guy. The MLB.com toolbar. As you can see at the top, it automatically cycles through all of the games. Now, depending on what time of the day you're using this, in the mornings, like it is now, you'll just see all the games with their times as well as the starting pitcher and their record for each team. By the end of the day though, obviously the scores have come in, so as the scores get updated, during the game you'll see live scoring, and at the end of the game you'll see final scores, team records, as well as the winning and losing pitcher. So you can, if you're looking for a particular team, you can cycle through. Let's say you were a Cleveland fan, you can go to that click pause and then you can get a lot of information about it or you can resume and continue doing that um, so let's say you wanted some information about this particular game you can go ahead and click and it'll bring up a majorleaguebaseball.com or mlb.com preview of the game which is really pretty nice I really think this is exceptionally useful for baseball fans out there and even if you play fantasy baseball this is good as well so you can keep tabs on you know how each team is doing and therefore you know if you had three sluggers on one team and the team scored zero runs and eh, not very good for your fantasy team so uh, the next thing I want to show you is the one dash click weather extension it's up here and basically what it does is once you enter in if you want Fahrenheit or Celsius and your zip code it gives you a little preview of the weather right inside the browser so right now it's the weather really really convenient just one click glance you just look up bam you know exactly what the temperature is outside and if you want more information you just go ahead and click on that it opens up a new tab and it'll give you the full weather.com experience you can go hourly tomorrow weekend 10 day gives you right now again 63 down here and 63 up here and then it also shows you the next 36 hours quickly at a glance so if you need to know the weather and of course you always want to know what the temperature is outside you know this is a really a really nice application or extension rather again you could go to weather.com or you could go to majorleaguebaseball.com but these extensions are meant to save you time and they really do speaking of saving time what if you have a lot of tabs open and you want to quickly get to one but you don't know exactly which one it is well similar solution is called expose for mac os 10 which as you know it, you just click the hotkey and it opens up all your windows in a nice sort of grid display so you can easily choose them so the same thing is true with the expose -er extension. You set your hotkey in the preferences. In this case, mine is option T. And for some reason, this particular web page does not really work for it. But let's say we go back to that Major League Baseball website. Then we do option T again. And now it'll pull it up. So it's really kind of easy. Um, let's say you wanted to jump over to the weather. You can easily see that graphically. Uh, again, this isn't really going to work from this page, but if you wanted to go back to the Phillies, you know, you could go ahead and do that. Um, so, the next one I want to show you is called Shortly. If you're trying to post, let's say, this article to Twitter, you're obviously not going to want to post the entire URL. You'll run out of characters. So, we have URL shorteners. You're all familiar with TinyURL, Bitly, etc., and some people have their own private ones as well. But that's kind of a, a monotonous process. You'd have to op you'd have to select this entire thing. You'd have to copy it, go to the other website, paste it in, click a button, then copy that, then go to Twitter. Well, it has never been easier with the shortly extension. All you do is click it right here, and it generates a short URL for you. In this case, it's a Google a G O O dot G L, but there you can also choose Tiny URL or Bitly and you just go ahead and copy that you can right click or just do a command C or a control C on a PC and it's copied and then you can go again 
copy. You open up a new tab. This could be in Twitter when somebody clicks on it, whatever. And it brings you right to that. We all know how short URLs work. And this is just a really a nice way to get everything done quickly. Because again, time is money. We need to be the most efficient we can with our time. So that's what we need to do. Now the final thing is called Safari Restore. This is a feature that I like in in Firefox because a lot of times I have a lot of tabs open and the only reason I close the browser is maybe the computer needs to be restarted and an update needs to be applied and the browser needs to be closed. With In Firefox though, if I close it and then reopen it, it gives me the option to restore the previous session. Safari Restore does the same thing automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the browser here and then I'm going to reopen it and as you can see my home page is google.com it opens that up what if we look here in the other tabs mm, that major league baseball article is loaded that boy genius report on the droid 2 is open and the weather is open as well so this is a really a great a great thing if you're like me you have a lot of tabs open and you want to go back and reference them eventually you don't have time now you just keep it open in a new tab and then when you need to go back to it after you restart it it's not a problem because this will open automatically open up all those for you so again I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com these are five must-have extensions for Safari 5 I hope you found this useful. What are your favorite extensions if you have ones that aren't on this list? Please post them in the comments below. And if you guys want, I can make another video like this in a week or two with some more extensions that I find useful. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.